question. If I feel stressed, I sometimes just make a marinara sauce. It's a good question, but basically you have to have some sense of what it is you're going to see. I've done research before I arrive on location. I've been thinking about the subject for weeks, months, if not years, you know. And at the same time, when you arrive, you have to be prepared to change your mind. Although, you know, it would be pretty weird if everyone, every journalist who'd done a given subject had got the subject completely wrong. Like, that would be pretty weird. Like, you normally, you don't massively revise your views when you make the program, but you do, you just sort of add texture and nuance and human feeling to it. I think it's easier to have conversations with people you don't agree with than, than you do agree with. You know, certainly like interesting conversations. I'm curious about how people's minds work. You know, I'm I've always been fascinated by difference, people who think differently than I do. So it just becomes a conversation about, well, how can you think such and such a thing? How can you feel that it's okay to do that? But I suppose there's a deeper question, which is, is it morally acceptable to give a platform to someone who's expressing something outrageous or deeply wrong or hateful? And I think that's that has to be decided on a case-by-case -case basis. Sometimes you have to just make sure you, you challenge someone enough to contextualize what they're saying. And then other times it may be appropriate just to not talk to them. I would say that there's different ways to get involved. There's the traditional route, which would be apply for a BBC scheme, like a trainee program, start as a runner or write to production companies that you notice are doing programs that you enjoy, right? I mean, right now is not ideal. We're in the production companies are really struggling and not many documentaries are being made. But the other part of it would be, you know, everyone's got a camera now on their uh, phones and you can make your own films. Just let let your own YouTube channel uh, be your platform. So the, 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 the both routes are valid. And, and what I notice is that depending on whether you want to make documentaries behind the scene or be like me, a presenter, that might dictate how you approach this. But what I notice is that so many people are, are doing amazing work through YouTube or TikTok or even Instagram. There's no longer a kind of single gateway through which you have to go to reach people. Anyone can be their own channel now. So many people I would love to interview. Uh, and then would they be open? You know, would they talk about what you wanted to talk to them about? I think if you could get a really honest interview with Tom Cruise about Scientology, that would be amazing. And but I think he would he wouldn't want to go there. I, I sometimes say Lisa Marie Presley because she's the sort of you know as the daughter of Elvis Presley, but also as someone who was married to Michael Jackson, and then was a Scientologist for many years and has now left, as I understand it, Scientology which I should say, for those who don't know, like, is this just a subject that I'm very interested in and I made a film about? I think she'd be a good interview. I think in the end, though, you just want, you want someone who um, is going to be very unfiltered, who's going to um, just speak without thinking about it too much and has something amazing to say about, about life.